Ben Ikuli is from the Ituri region of Congo, where inter-ethnic conflict between 1999 and 2003 killed more than 60,000 people and displaced hundreds of thousands from their homes. Ben was one of those, a victim of that war. This is his amazing story of survival. Ben Ikuli has finally found peace, 8,600 miles away from his war-torn homeland. When they get angry at each other, they just like um, burn houses and just like kill everybody. They could see that was in their tribe. Ben is from Bunia in the Democratic Republic of Congo. When he was five years old, the war became personal. His home was burned down and his family displaced because of the conflict. That's when we started our forest journey. He and his brother fled, hoping to safely reunite with their family. You and your brother are just wandering from town to town. Yeah. Asking for shelter and asking for food. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what we did. We just never stopped going for some reason. We just we were just like going and going. We didn't know where we were going to stop for sure. They did it for three years, walking 160 miles to a city called Arua in Uganda. So that's when we started our refugee life over at Invepi. We were brought to a little house. It was a little grass house. There were days that we went without anything. So that was mainly what we fostered on. It was just like, as long as we can sleep here, this is our home. We're good. We registered for that application of um, taking a picture and um, putting our names in the radio, um, spreading the news to see if they'll find our parents. But they, they didn't ever find our parents. They lived in a refugee camp for five years before finally getting clearance to come to the United States. We weren't sure where we're going. We're just like, this is another one here. We'll see how far we go. Where they went was Utah. Ben is a senior at Roy High School, where his soccer skills he developed at the refugee camp have come in handy. He plays soccer and is a varsity kicker on the football team. It's a really great thing for me with, with everything I've, I've seen and went through, I think, um, with the football team and the school. I, I've had the greatest experience. Last year you had a pretty happy moment. Yeah. Game-winning field goal. Yeah. August 30th, 2013. Roy and Weber are tied at 14 with three seconds left. Field goal, Ben Aikuli! The Royals win the win! I, I just started running because I knew what was going on. I, I knew it was going in, so I was, I was really happy. I, it was probably the greatest thing I've, I've done in, um, here in the U.S., for sure. This would be a great place to end the story, but the story gets even better. He received a phone call from his brother on Mother's Day. You can't believe what I just heard. And he said they did find our parents. And I, I, I'm, I said, are you for real? And he's like, yeah. The Red Cross guy just called and said that he found our parents. They came back just a couple months ago to our original home. My brother did connect me with my actual mom. I talked to her. I couldn't hear of much what she was saying because I could just hear her crying, that was all. She said they did, they did our funeral um, back home because they never thought we would make it or we, they never thought we made it anywhere. I look back and just say um, I'm really grateful for that and, and how I'm here and I'm, I'm happy.